YouTube world coming at you once again. We're going straight lines and circles. If you got a chance to look at our work a couple years ago, we coming back at this. Everything you do in the design world is straight lines and circles. There's a straight line. Circular shape, we all got to do on the beard. It may look something similar to that. Okay? You can't make circles and straight lines with some trimmers. You might want to pick another profession. No. We're going to be that hard on you. Straight lines and circles, that's the whole art world, period. I'm going to study it, narrow it down. You can take notes off other people. Um, in order to make that circular shape, you want to use your corner because you got a flat blade trying to make a round shape, right? So you got two corners. They should work like pencils. And of course, this is my version coming from uh, our world, colored barbershop world here in Canton, Ohio. Uh, opposed to any other educators out there. All right. You see, the only thing we did was turn around the circle. All right. There's another straight line for you. Okay. We'll do another straight line. We're going to take our corner and make another circle. Get yourself a good trusty customer. This is a long time faithful. Him, his father, his brother, they all came for me. Came to me, but allowed me to uh, do their haircuts for years, so there's a little bit of trust there. Get a, get a, a local uh, nephew, neighbor. A lot of the kids were able to practice on and shop the new designs. Maybe work it out, barter it into a cut, and go practice them, right? Again, this is like a real simple uh, breakdown of some of the designs that we can make with our trimmers. You don't have to be an, art, an artist or anything like that. We get a lot of barbers. Yeah, I can't really draw, so I don't want to do designs. Well, we all got to make straight lines and circles. The proof is here. There's a straight line, right? There's another straight line. There's a circle. Follow up. You can't make those shapes. Good luck on your lineups, right? So we've all taken the time to learn that stuff. So just make shapes rather than designs. When you step back and look at it, you'll have a design. Connect them together, right? So there's a real basic design. There's some barbers that sell that. The average haircut in a barber shop for a kid's cut is $12. If I put that design in there, I'm, I'm gonna get a minimum of three dollars, really more like five dollars. It went from twelve to seventeen, like that. Give yourself a raise. For those of you barbers say, hey, I don't want to learn designs, blah blah blah. I'm sure you'll take a raise, right? Might be worth you learning. It will be worth you learning. All right. You having a problem learning? That's what we're here for. <laughs> now I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna widen it up. This is for those advanced students that selling those basic designs. You just take your little corners. Say a prayer to take a deep breath and widen it up. No such thing as a too big of a design unless the customer says so, right? They give you free reign to do what you want to do. What's going to make it look sloppy is the fact that you're not doing it on purpose, right? We do everything on purpose around here. That's a must. Jump out there. I always encourage my barbers and I come in there and bring home free. All right, so just challenge yourself. Take one section. Just widen it up and give a different look. And of course, a lot of this stuff, people say, I get it all the time. Easier said than done. Well, I can do one or two things. I can either show off or I can try to teach. Right? When I first started teaching, I found out I was more of a show off than I was a teacher because nobody was learning. They were just watching me. Until I began to break it down and encourage these guys to jump in and try this stuff. So the only way you're going to learn, you really got to dig in, get more hands on, and you'll find yourself uh, hopefully amazing yourself. And um, bottom line, Provide more to your customers, especially the kids' crowd. And you'll find one or two of them. If you just get one or two, your income goes up substantially, like, you know, maybe by 200 bucks a month or something like that. That's all it is. $5 design times 10. There's 50 bucks. 10 customers this week, 50 bucks. Four weeks in a month, you 200 bucks extra. Right? Simple math. So there's the design world. There's just a little teaser right there. Uh, the trimmers tools that we're using, uh, it does matter. We can get into that later on. If there's any questions you got as far as what to buy, what to use in order to do these designs. No gimmicks, no uh, you know, tricks, right? This is a wall detailer, an average trimmer. Been out maybe the last five years, right? Just using your tools the right way. Um, 
Straight lines and circles. Heard it here first. Coach Barbershop. Till next time.